Researchers are using brainwaves to give people with ALS the ability to communicate again. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Dustin Dorsey has a look at this remarkable technology. How do you feel? Judging by the smile on Pat Bennett's face, I'd say she's feeling pretty good. That's because for the first time since developing ALS, she is able to communicate once again. This miracle thanks to incredible new research on Stanford University's campus. Our aim is to restore uh, communication by reading out brain signals using uh, computer algorithms or computer software to interpret those brain signals and then changing them into actions in the outside world. A need for Bennett, who was a human resources director in Equestrian before her 2021 ALS diagnosis that caused deterioration in her brainstem. ALS attacks neurons controlling movement, causing physical weakness and eventual paralysis. She can make sounds, but Bennett's ALS led to the loss of use of the muscles of her lips, tongue, larynx, and jaws, muscles needed to communicate clearly. <laughs> It's depressing, too. In 2022, Stanford Medicine professor of neurosurgery, Dr. Jamie Henderson, implanted sensors about the size of popcorn kernels in Bennett's cerebral cortex in her brain. These sensors communicate with the hundreds of brain cells where speech production occurs. Using her brain waves, the sensors detect words that she wants to say, and the pedestals that you see on her head relay those brain waves to the screen to develop the words and phrases. I like music. This allows Bennett to communicate without being able to form the words physically. As Pat looks at a computer screen, a sentence would appear. She would attempt to read that sentence. We would read out the brain signals, translate them using a machine learning algorithm into text, which then gets placed back onto the screen. In this case, practice makes perfect. Bennett has participated in 25 training sessions, and with time, she has developed the ability to communicate around 60 words a minute. Being able to speak again is life-changing for her. I have hope. Dr. Henderson says this is just a proof of concept, but he hopes in the next five to ten years, systems can be in place to give more people their voice back again. People with communication disorders can sometimes uh, become withdrawn, become less socially active, uh, and this could allow people to get back into social situations. So it could it could potentially be transformative. <laughs> in the South Bay, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.